here with the latest Mustang and Automotive news. We got some spy photos, some new spy photos, and a rendering. So let's just go ahead and check out the rendering, and then we're going to go look at some of the... Um, we've actually got a video on today's video. We've got a video of the, the prototype or the spy spy car, the camouflage 2013-2014 um, Mustang driving around. I guess it'll be a 2014. But So let's look at what we already have. So these are the photos that we pulled out the other day that we saw over here on the forums. And um, somebody over here, I guess Ace on the forums, German, uh, mode, modern muscle cars .de. And so he did an outline of the chassis here, another outline, and he's rendered, he's done a rendering. So that's what it is possibly going to look like. Looks like Camaro. What do you guys think? No, it looks good. I mean, it looks very modern. That's for sure. It looks very modern. This is kind of like this California special badging there. Those wheels look pretty Camaro-ish. Um, he's got the recessed door handles on there, little push things. I like it. Uh, I don't like the chrome, but look, it's, you know, does, is it actually going to look anything like this? Who knows? But, you know, this actually looks like a lightweight sports car. It looks, it looks a lot smaller now. You know, if you look at the if you look at the photos of the actual Mustang, I don't think it's going to be that dramatic of a change. You can still see like on the rear, you can still see the trim being there. There's some other guys that what I'm talking about on the trim on the rear is just it looks like it does in the 18, 19s, 20s, 21s, just the same. So I don't know that there's going to be that much of a change in um, the body but this is what this guy is saying he spent a lot of time doing that obviously so thanks for doing that and we appreciate it but uh let me know what you guys would you buy one of these it's all here's the thing whenever they come out with a new car it just it's so dramatic uh it's so dramatically different than everyone's like they crap on it they don't like it and then you know two years later they're just you know drooling over it so that's just how it works um yeah this here's his here's his um instagram modern muscle cars d Ersten, I'm not gonna speak German, but there it is. Um, here's some other people posting this stuff up. Here looks like another guy decided to throw his up here. Um, let's see here. Oh, Stang mode. So yeah, this was a couple days. Oh, this is two weeks ago. So anyways, so um, let's listen to the video and see what we can hear. Um, specifically at 1:30. One forty-eight. My bad. It does have the bullet steering wheel, um, and that's just a mock-up, leftover parts. We've got white here. Yeah, that's all you can. That's all you can see. I don't know if it's Santa Claus or Grandma driving, but somebody's got some very white hair that's driving. And grandma's ripping. It's a manual. Sounds pretty good to me. I mean, it's going to run out of that single, like, EcoBoost exhaust or whatever it is. But that's definitely a V8, definitely a manual transmission. Um, you know, and then all these parts are carried down. So the cool thing is, like, nothing on it. Like, by the time this car comes out, the S650, comparing it to, like, a 2015. Comparing it to like a 2015, you can't even compare it. Because in 2018, they did 10-speed automatic with a different generation Coyote. So it went from like 435 horsepower like mine is all the way up to 460. And then they had the Bullet. Then they had the Mach 1, you know, which all the GT350 parts started trickling down to those cars. So this generation, like the base motor will probably be 460 horse. It could be the Bullet motor, like 480 or whatever it is. Um, you know, it's just like intake, uh, intake manifold and intake and, you know, recalibration or whatever it is. It's not much, but, um, what I'm saying is all those will trickle down, um, into these, these cars. So a base GT is going to be significantly faster than what, it, what a 15 through 17 car was. So let's look at some other photos if we didn't look at them already. Here's some of the photos that they posted yesterday, and I missed it. Oh, yeah, there's someone 
just ripping it, ripping this car. Like I said, they got all weather tires on there, and they look like PP wheels, performance package wheels with black center caps. And you've got that mock up exhaust that they just throw on there. It's still got the same, you know, this is cut up actually. So, what I was saying is this rear bumper looks like it's off of an 18. But honestly, this stuff is just mocked up. You can tell now. So, these bumpers not might not even be the bumpers that come on the car. Because after looking at it, you can tell this is just hanging down. This is just flopping. So, they've cut this to fit this exhaust and just slapped it on there to go on the road, I guess. Like, what is that hanging down? Some type of sensor. They're testing the car, I guess. Um... And I thought in another photo we had an extra brake caliper back there. So even on the hood scoop here, like this looks like just a mock-up thing. It, I don't think they're actually going to include that on the production car. It just kind of looks like they are um, like, you know, disguising the car with that. I don't think that's functional. Like that will actually be on the person. Who knows? Could be though. And just like they're adding this, they're just trying to cover up the, the actual body lines of the vehicle. So you can't can't really tell what's going on there um i don't see brembo on the um the brake calipers i do see brembo on the brake calipers so those are the brembos like off of a pp car uh, what else can we see here no nothing to speak of it's definitely a mustang you can see the door line that's just normal like on my car now back here it does look different the hip is different okay okay the front looks a little bit more aggressive squared off which i like like the gt500 i guess although i don't like the gt500 bumper as much but this is they've ever camouflaged this so they've gotten rid of the hips i hope they didn't get rid of the hips like that because that was that's what makes the car look awesome unless i'm confused um European, da, da 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 exhaust system, da, da, da. yeah, none of this, yeah, this is too far, this is too, this car's too far out to make any big claims and trying to figure out actually what this vehicle is, but what I was talking about is just, okay, good, they've got this ridge here, so it's still going to have hips, you know, they've just covered it up, I guess, um, but yeah, this who knows if this will make it into production or not, or if that's just a cover up. And yeah, it's probably just an 18 headlight, like they're saying. So, so this guy's saying it is 100% a sixth gen. Okay. So he's mocking this up and he's saying. Even though these cars are at two different angles, you can see the opening of the front grille right here. Whereas this car's turned completely sideways, you can't see the front grille, so it's not a very good, not a very good comparison. Um, I guess you could make the argument about this line right there. Uh, I'm not sure what they're getting. I'm not sure what he's getting at here. So this line, I guess we're going to compare this line, this line with this, this, and this. Okay, I see. He's saying this is a six, this is a six gen. This one is not. So that makes, that's what I was getting at. The hips on this one are prominent. You can see the line on this one. You can't. Um, and if you were to compare this line to this on each car, it does. I'd have to study these lines for a bit, but so at first glance, it looks like the front end looks, I mean, it's just the way that they've mocked this up where it makes it harder to tell, but it looks like the front end's longer on this car and it's just probably the angles and the lines that they've added that plays a trick on your eyes, but this is a little longer here. It goes behind the door. Dun, dun, dun. This door is kind of no, it's hard to say what he's getting at here with all these lines, but 
You guys let me know what you see in the comment section because I don't. It's hard for me to put it all together. Plus, as you can hear, these dogs are fighting in the background. Okay, guys, um, I'm not going to go through three more pages of of notes. But let's let's just scroll down and see if there's anything else that they've kind of came to. Let's just look real quick. Yeah. The, okay. So here we go. I compared the car with Mach One prototypes. The Gen Seven has a totally different diffuser. It reaches way higher and much more outstanding. To, if you look closely around that exhaust cut, you can see that it used the same sheet for the rear bump cover. It's falling totally different on the Gen Seven. Yeah. So we'll see guys, you know, there's, there is like, they're saying it's going to be electric, all wheel drive. There's all these different things that people are talking about, but I guess we'll find out more as we go. What do you guys think? Do you think this will do an all wheel drive EcoBoost hybrid? That'll be faster than my GT probably. All right guys, thanks for watching and drop a comment. Let me know what, what, you know, let me know if you're going to get one. What do you think motor is going to have in it? What did I miss in the video as far as, as far as, uh, those, those lines and, um, let just let me know what you think. Thanks for checking in and watching the video. And, uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep posted the latest Mustang automotive news. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.